Hey there, friends. What's up? Painty Minty back at it again. Ooh, Mike is a little loud there. Okay. Um, I'm back at it again. We are on another Tuesday. We're doing another art stream and uh, just kind of jumping in from the last stream. We got a lot of people in here, which was great. Um, got a lot of uh, pretty much... Um, suggestions on what to where to go next what horror icons to draw right um well, as you can see we got a huge list um so kind of just um right now not so sure where i should start with the list maybe from the top maybe from the bottom <laughs> um but otherwise i mean we're just gonna really have fun today i got a haircut appointment so i'm gonna have to cut it short around five um, my time, but, um, hopefully y'all enjoy yourselves, you know, don't be afraid to chat in the chat, and, um, yeah, give some more suggestions from there, um, mainly it's just gonna be, you know, doing what we normally do, listening to, uh, DMCA free, um, time, uh, DMCA free music, sorry, that was the phone that just went off, um, but, yeah, uh, let me do this real quick. I am going to be right back. Phone's just ringing. One second, y'all. Okay, y'all, I am back. Sorry about that. My mom left her phone in my room, and uh, I had to go return it to her. But then also, I then was like, wow, I'm super, super thirsty. So I, like, really quick ran downstairs, got some water, because it's important to hydrate, and I went back. So that was uh, my little 10-second adventure. Um, but mainly today, we're just going to be streaming <laughs> of course drawing and then we will kind of go forward from there but yeah let me know let me know if y'all want something like a specific genre of music to listen to or you know whatever let me know if it's too loud or if it's choppy again Just 
did a quick mic check. It's not choppy. Thank you, Roxy Roll, for letting me know. That's awesome. And I'm just going to adjust my microphone. Not my microphone. My headset. It's going to be really loud in my ears. Okay. Cool. So let's start. We'll just erase and erase. We will make all of these other guys on. Um, we, uh, we will, uh. Er not erase them, make them invisible. My gosh, I can't think today. I had like two interviews to go to today. I applied to a, another job. And, um. It went really well, but it's left me all out of sorts today. Like. I forgot to drink my coffee this morning so that too but hey we're all here we're all good let's go ahead and use that and I'm just moving this little guy down okay so first off I did get these new Jazza brushes that I'm super excited about they're like 20 bucks for like a um, I want to say a really good amount of them. I hadn't download the, downloaded them all. I just kind of downloaded the ones that I wanted to test out. Now, they kind of all have like this opacity thing where they they don't appear like fully. Like they don't, they don't keep a consistent like um, a consistent color. Like you see how it gets a little opaque there. I kind of have to like draw really hard. So I'm uh too crazy about them i like them they're all right i like the procreate brushes a little better but you know maybe he'll come out with some other stuff that i can try a little later but let's get started where are we thinking about um what are we thinking about doing uh we can start off uh with a universal monster uh well actually let's off start off with something cute let's throw sam from trick-or-treat so we'll cross that out well, that won't work on this one. I'll just erase it, I guess. Here we go. Sam from Trick or Treat. Okay, yeah, see? It's a little, a little rough. Construction pen pencil. Oh, that's why. Duh. I just like messing around with this marker. Yeah, this is the marker one I was sketching around with. If you uh, keep track of my Instagram or my, um, my Facebook or my Twitter, uh, the newest uh, Transformers. Um, drawings, the new transformer stuff that I've put out, those I sketched out with this pencil marker brush thing, and they actually came out pretty well, I would say. I like how this is with sketching it, like how it how it gets put on the paper, I guess you should say. Um, but let me go ahead and start drawing little Sam. Let me look up some references first. Pinterest is going to be our best bet on that. And Sam, trick or treat. Oh yeah, little cutie guy there. Look at him, he's so cute. Okay, let's do this. Do we want a specific pose for him? Or does he have like an iconic pose? Not really, he just kind of stands there. With his like... Oh, that's cute. They switched. Okay, well... I guess we'll just draw him like a normal kid. Normal little kid walking around. We'll make his uh, little popsicle a little big. Totally cute BB and OP. What? Oh, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. <laughs> Roxy Roll, I didn't understand that for a second. But thank you, thank you. I don't usually like drawing robots. They're a little too harsh of lines for me. And it's very, like, technical. I don't really like drawing technical, but I was so inspired by that new movie that I was like, you know what? Let me try it out. All right, so we'll go a little chibi with this one, too. And a little potato body. Give him some stumpy legs. He doesn't really have stumpy legs in the movie, as you can see, but I want him to look a little cute. He doesn't really have a, sh 
like shoulders. It's kind of this that covers them up. I think I'm drawing this at an angle. <laughs> it looks a little weird. Let's. Oh man, I'm drawing it on the same layer. No. Okay. Let's get that guy moved up. And let's delete him from this layer. Clear. Haha. <laughs> Let's draw him in the middle of the page. Alright. Let's tilt his body just a bit because he looks a little lopsided. So I don't know really what the backstory is. I think he's a little demon, because he, of course he has like a pumpkin head, but I don't know. It's left up to interpretation, really. This is like burlap sack. It's like the spirit of Halloween, maybe? Because he has like those specific rules. I'm gonna give him that little smile there. Well, that looks a little freaky. <laughs> How do we make this guy cute? <laughs> Maybe lift his mouth a little bit more? There we go. That looks pretty good. Oh, you know what? His eyes are a little lopsided too, huh? I think one is a little higher than the other. Like that? And he's got a little rope. Ties it up. Kind of looks like a bolo tie in a way. No, I'm not really feeling this music. Probably because it's techno. Let's see. Let's see here. I'm just like looking through all this. something spooky, you know? Let's see. Here we go. Okay, so here's some spooky DMCA free music so that we don't get copyright struck. Ooh-wee! You can hear it. I'm tired. <laughs> but we are trudging through. I want to get some cool art out. Oh, that's cute. Here we go. Maybe make his eyes a little bigger. Does it go all around? No, it doesn't. Maybe that's what's freaking us out. It's kind of just a... Yeah, kind of looks like that. And then this, of course, is not as straight as I was thinking. It's kind of like curved a little bit. Okay. Haha, <laughs> spooky. Let's see. He's got a little onesie on. I wonder what that lollipop tastes like. Cause like he literally, I think he impales a man <laughs> with that lollipop in the movie. Oh, 
Pois é. Okay. Well, he kind of looks like Sam. I think mainly what's gonna... You know what? Maybe I need to make the head a little smaller. Or, a, like, bring it down a little. And then make a bigger head, maybe? So bring it down. Like that. And then make it bigger. Right? That looks like it kind of works. I don't know. Right there, maybe? Let's try and move him. He still looks like he's tilted. I'm just gonna erase his legs real quick. And kind of redraw them. It's kind of <laughs> and then should we draw him with his uh, little pumpkin head too? He looks so ugly, the little kid. Oh, that's right, he's got the patches on too, huh? Yeah, look at that little patch, two patches there. And he's not really defined in the body either. Maybe that's what's throwing us off. So let's... Do this. here and then I think it was on the lower right here all right looking good maybe I think I'm maybe making the smile too defined Maybe tilt the head a little too. We have a little Sam door greeter with, that's supposed to be able to hold candy. Um, and he's just a little too front heavy to like stand up on his own, but he looks so cute. There we go. Little Sam. Sam I am. And he's got little shoes or booties. I don't know. I think that's just like part of the onesie. Yeah, look at that. It's part of the onesie. Okay. Well, we'll just complete the uh, little line there. And boom, I think he's done. Let's kind of offset this a little bit. There we go. Make his arm a little longer. <laughs> Maybe make it a little baggier too. I think aiming up is better. Let's kind of aim it like this. There we go. This sounds like vampire music. <laughs>
Okay. I think we're at a pretty good point there. And we'll just do the X. Nope, that didn't look right. We'll just fill that in. Okay. Looks good to me. A little sand. Sam I am. Alright. Let's put him in with our little crew. Right here. Bomb. Nice. We have to start creating a little group for all these guys. <laughs> Alright, we got Sam done. Sweet. Moving forward. Moving forward. Let's take a look. Do we want to do Predator? Michael Myers? Chucky? Hmm. Cloud Killer Clowns? Maybe not right now. Let's see. I think let's try for Predator. Oh no, you know what? I want to draw Frankenstein. Or Frankenstein's a monster, if you want to be more specific. Doesn't he stick his arm out, arms out when he walks? I'm not too sure. Yeah, like that. So let's do the classic Frankenstein pose. I think it's Alvin and the Chipmunks where I first uh, was introduced to Frankenstein. That one movie. What is he wearing? Is he wearing- oh, he's just wearing like slacks and a thing. <laughs> the blazer, I think is what you call it. You know what? For ease, we're just gonna do circles again. <laughs> That's how I cop out of it. Alright, and then he had it like up to here. And then was it a t-shirt that he was wearing? Sorta. we just figure out how to like caricature his face into a chibi oh that one's looking rough Ooh. I like that underbite yeah he does have kind of like a squarish forehead like that like a really gaunt face that's most likely due to him being, like, undead, though.
trying to make that underbite a little more apparent than this one. It's kind of cute. Look at that. The thing is how to make him gaunt, but also cute like a chibi, you know? Do I want to give him right here? No. Yeah, this is Dracula's music, no? Waycrest Curse. Oh, this is from the World of Warcraft soundtrack. Huh. Neat. Ooh. not gonna be able to do the underbite but we can at least make him look like he's groaning Those little nubs in his neck. He looks like really young. <laughs> How do we make a gaunt face? Like that? Maybe uh, accentuate the. Yeah, the bags, the eye bags. There you go. I feel like I want to make this more square, though. There we go. Tough time with Frankenstein's face. Rue. Maybe I didn't make his nose long enough. Too big square. Oh, I like that one. That's cute. Pretty cool. I don't know, he still looks a little young. Maybe. What did they do here? Hmm. Nope. Not that. <laughs> yeah, he 
he's got like a gaunt face, but I don't know how to translate that. Like into chibi. Maybe just give him a more prominent chin. And this in a little. Yeah, that seems to work. He's got that scar there. <laughs> that's cool. Who is that? I think that's Jennifer Gardner. Who was dating Jennifer Gardner at the time? No, I think that might be Eva Mendes. I'm not sure. I don't know who celebrities are. Okay. Did you know people actually fainted at the sight of Boris Karloff when he did the Frankenstein makeup. They hadn't had those types of special effects yet. And they just fainted. And they would have to cover him in a sheet when he'd go to and from set so that people wouldn't faint at the sight of him. Pretty interesting. I learned that on a Universal tour. Maybe he needs to have his hair a little higher. Oh, there's a good one. It's a three-fourths profile, though. Doesn't help us too much. But, it gives us some pointers. Maybe make the hair a little messy. And then, he had, like, bolts, I guess, right here? Keeping his head shut? I would assume. Maybe we need to make this square not as rounded out. Yeah, that looks a little better. He goes, ooh. That's a pretty good Frankenstein. So scary they fainted. Yeah. Yep. I think now today that rarely happens. It's more of like the jump scares that get people. I think we're a little at least sensitized to all that now. What the heck is this song? Lullaby of Woe. Oh, I think it might be, um... Yeah, The Witcher. I need to still play that game series. I should add it to the list of games to stream. Because I heard they're really, really good. Okay. Yeah, I think I got a pretty good... Let's do this. Oh, that's even cuter. He's like, ooh, I'm tired. There we go. That's good. I like that one. I'll just have to color him. Wolfman's got nards. Every time I think of um, uh, Frankenstein, I think of the Monster Squad. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's draw Wolfman next. He's a he's a hard one. 
Wolf Anne. <laughs> Wolf Man, please, Pinterest. Universal, I guess. There we go. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. I like that guy. He's got them curly hairs. Curly hair. Was this some Alex Ross art? No, it doesn't look like it. He goes, oh, yeah. Werewolf of London. I still gotta watch those. American Werewolf. And the like. No, stamps. Nice. Still gotta watch Phantom of the Opera, too. That's a classic that I haven't. Haven't yet. Yeah, I think this is from Monster Squad. <laughs> they kick the wolf man uh, in the nards. <laughs> they kick him in the nards, kick him in the nards when one of the kids gets like kidnapped or something or like he's being dragged away or something like that. And they kick him and one of the kids, he's like, oh, and then one of the kids is just like, wolf man's got nards. <laughs> and then they all run off. That's like the funniest thing to me as a kid. And now I don't know why it just cracks me up. Okay. I like that they're all together in most of these, like, pictures and fan arts. They're all pretty cool. Art station. Let's see who, who did that art. Alex Medlin. Great job, dude. You did. You did a good job on this piece. Okay. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to wing it with the positioning of a wolf man. I think maybe a crouch. So if we get a little of this action. So this is his like shoulders. And then like that. I don't know why I defined his his hand and why I didn't define anybody else's. Let's go ahead, let's do equal treatment. Let's give him a circle hand too. angry. He's got his angry eyes. This kind of looks like a Black Widow pose. <laughs> v for Vendetta. That's not a horror movie. <sighs> We're only doing horror movies. Let's see. Yeah, this looks like a... <laughs> this looks like a Black Widow pose. Wolf fans posing like Black Widow. <laughs> You know what, though? I don't care. Yeah, make his head a little bigger. And then body a little smaller. There we go. Now that we got that little skeleton in, let's define some features. He's kind of got like a little nose. I kind of want to make him cute, but then also I want to make him look like the wolfman, so. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. He looks like my dog. There you go, he's got like three teeth. Looks good to me. 
And then I think he's got like pointed ears. And then what did that wolf man look at the top? This guy. Look at that guy. He's got a full grown beard. This sounds like Blade. Oh, close. Bloodlines, main theme. Vampire the Masquerade. Oh, heck yeah. I still have to figure out that game. I don't know too much about it, so I haven't really tried playing it or anything. Let's make his hair a little crazy. He just looks like an angry dude. <laughs> um, maybe. Yeah, let's do this. Let's make him a little more furry. There we go. Make his eyebrows kind of blend into his head. There we go. This guy looks like a little cute wolf man. Aww. Final destination. No, how are you gonna how are you gonna make fan art of I don't even like Final Destination, so technically it wouldn't even be fan art. I think that one's more of like suspense thriller. It's uh you know that's not my kind of jam, Roxy Roll. Stop suggesting that. If we're gonna watch that movie, I'm gonna watch it while eating something sweet and good. <laughs> so I have something to look forward to. I do not like those movies. They make me afraid of everything. Alright. And then now... We give him, like, uh, tattered clothing, probably, like that. Man, I'm really digging the soundtrack. Sounds like Underworld, kind of. I don't know, I'm not really feeling this pose anymore. Let's uh, do this. Maybe we need to make him like crouching? Like kind of like this guy, but like, let's give him a big old burly chest. Itty bitty waist. Mm -hmm. He is a buff wolf man, oh my god. <laughs> there we go. He's puffing out his chest because he's angry. He packed his angry eyes. spirit map. Now we're gonna skip that. Curse of the Worgen. Hmm. Interesting. He's like on his hind legs. There we go. Let's give him like one half short. <laughs> and then the other one is like a regular pants. 
No, let's make him look like Hulk. Let's give him just tattered shorts. Here we go. We got Wolfman. He goes, meh. I am angry. It's my time of the month. <laughs> uh. It's the moon time for him. Just gotta adjust him real good. All right, Wolfman done. Well, not done because we gotta ink him and all of that, but fairly okay. I mean, we got a a good progress on him. Give him more of an underbite here. There we go. Okay. So there's our Wolfman, right next to our Frankenstein. You know, he kind of looks short compared to Frankenstein. Like, I don't see him being as tall as Mr. Stein himself. I kind of want to keep doing those universal monsters. Huh. What's next? Oh, uh, we got Creature from the Black Lagoon. We've got Bride of Frankenstein. We've got Dracula. Uh, who else? Who else? Oh, the mummy. The mummy is kind of okay, though. He's just kind of a dude wrapped in cloth. Thinking, thinking. I guess we'll do Dracula. Can't hurt. Dracula. Universal monsters. What was his name? Bella Lugosi, I think. Oh, whoa, look at that. He's seen better days. Oh, I like that one. It's like Elvira eyes. Okay. So, he's got his cape, I think, huh? So we'll have him, like, doing that classic Dracula pose. Let's do straight this time. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's give him some, some, uh, a little bit of that paint and empty twist. Give him some, uh, shoulder pads that are spiky. He has his. Oh, he puts him up. Okay. So let's actually put his arms up in that Dracula pose. So I guess no shoulder pads for you, Dracula. That? Maybe? Oh, hey, Invisible Man. Ha ha. <laughs> That's funny. You know what, I'm just gonna clear that out and then just copy and paste the other arm. Let's copy and paste and then let's flip it. Flip it. Flip it good. There we go. Oh shoot, I cleared that. Let's merge it down. Okay. Let's 
Let's do this. I am a bot. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I count to three. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think I'm very funny. Mm -hmm. But I know I'm funny. <laughs> okay, so we got that. The cape. And it just kind of does this. He's a count. He's a count of Dracula. Let's see. I never realized he had like a little bow tie. I always thought he had like just an ascot or something. Oh, there's the invisible man. He looks like the mummy. Why does it keep showing 9.41 a.m.? Like, if I look at it... Oh, it does show 9.40 a.m. on my tablet, too. That's so weird. I just never got that fixed, I guess. Oh, no, we don't need it. YouTube. We vote to replace all of the people on the mountain with that? All of those presidents? <laughs> I do. I move to vote. Okay, um, so, I guess I could technically do this, that still works too, right? I'm just gonna make a little bow tie right here. Okay. I am the knight. You know, it's funny. I've never watched Bram Stoker's Dracula either. Invisible, just dotted lines. Yeah, that would work. I really don't want to draw Invisible Man, though. <gasps> Alright. Look at that high waistline. <laughs> And, okay, I feel like we've got that. We'll just need to work on his face. So he's got, like, slick back here. Let's see, did Frankenstein have a nose? Did I draw him with a nose? Yes, I did. Oh, that's cool. like a widow's peak. I'm drawn with a widow's peak. And some pointed ears too.
that? My children of the night! Ah. I think that's a pretty good Dracula. <laughs> Maybe I should give him shorter legs. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think I'm gonna end it here. We had a pretty short stream, but we got a lot of uh, characters sketched out and detailed. Um, I like that red cape. Um, but, let me kind of get them all out here. These are all the guys we did today. We just did uh, Universal Monsters. A little Universal Monster episode. Dracula is like taking up all of the room. <laughs> Let's see, right there. Yeah, we got pretty much like three universal monsters. Pretty good with the sketches. Um, I feel like Frankenstein looks a little too defined. Um, let me get back in there and do this. He looks like a little too real. <laughs> I guess we could just do that, or maybe get rid of the shade, just make it in his eyebrows. I look so tired. There we go. I feel like that's a little better. It matches the other guys. But yeah, we got them three done today. We got the Bane three. We got the wolf man, we got Frankenstein, we got a uh, little Dracula there. So, moving along fairly well. We got those guys, and then we got all of these guys. So, Ghostface, Pennywise, we got the alien, we got Sam. Oh, I forgot, we got Sam as well. But, um, yeah, otherwise here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... I'm gonna clock out, you guys. <laughs> I'm so tired. Like, I just, it just hit me. Probably because I didn't have my daily caffeine intake. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Just, you know, thank you for joining in. If you're watching at a later time, remember to subscribe or, or follow. Uh, follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube for more fun videos like this. Um, and then we're gonna be back at it again next week, next Tuesday for art, next Friday. Friday, or this Friday, I should say, for more Life is Strange. That prequel before the storm. Super fun stuff. But uh, thanks, y'all, for joining in, and Painty Menti is out.